In this video, we're playing funk patterns on congas. Coming up. Hi, my name is Kevin Zahner. Welcome to Rhythm Notes. If this is your first time on this channel, please subscribe so we can help you level up your drumming and home recording today. This video is all about conga patterns. I love congas. If you haven't figured that out yet, I love drum set, I love congas, I love making good sounds on drums, and I love how in recordings especially, the conga parts fit with the drum set. Now, to make that happen, you have to think like a drum set player and a conga player all at the same time. And by that I mean you have to know where the drums are hitting, where your inner beats are happening, and also like what kind of style really sets up the feel of this song. If you haven't checked out the conga sounds video, I'll link it up in the the cards and the description below because these patterns sound great when your sounds sound great. Your slaps, your tones, your heels and toes, all the different muting and touches, all that stuff is very important for these grooves because you're exposed. You're an important part of the rhythm section and people are going to take notice if it's messy or if it's not clear in any way or if it's clashing with the drum set part. So just not really supporting the vibe of the tune overall. So I hope this video is a good introduction to my thoughts about playing funk congas on songs. And before we get started, hit that like button if this is a video that interests you, and hit us up in the comments to let us know who you are, what your experience is, what your questions are, are there any songs in particular that you're familiar with that you really like the congas and that pattern and you have any questions about it or just want to share it, we'd love to hear from you. The grooves are going to be presented to you in two parts. First part, there's two variations and I'm going to play those grooves just tones and slaps like straight ahead, just what you see on the page. The second part, we're going to look at playing conga grooves with touches in between that kind of thicken up and add to the feel. So let's check out the first variation. Now notice on these variations, some of them are very much downbeat oriented. So I generally want to play more with the drum set in the beginning of the bar and perhaps add maybe a round beat two or a round beat four or perhaps on a halftime feel a round beat three, some more syncopation and conversation because it's usually where the listener and the dancer starts to feel something else. So they're feeling those strong downbeats, but then they move to the syncopations and those inner rhythms. So you don't want to fill up the bar with those inner rhythms, uh, but you definitely want to use and take advantage of that space strategically, you know, for the benefit of the song and the listener. So let's check out the next variation where you see a little bit more of that syncopation. Like I said earlier, for the second half of this video, we're gonna add some touches in between the tones and slaps. This first variation is designed to be more open, and since it's more open in terms of slaps and, and tones, we're gonna fill it in with some touches to establish that feel and a little bit of thickness. Now this last groove is a little bit thicker. It's one of my favorite ones to play, especially if I have multiple congas, because it's melodic, yet doesn't seem to really uh, cover anybody up. It doesn't get in the way necessarily on a lot of songs. Now 
If you like this video, hit that like button. Please comment below if you have anything to add, any suggestions or any questions about what you've seen here today. Uh, we have a, a growing library of conga videos and percussion videos here at Rhythm Nodes. We'd like you to check them out. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so so you don't miss any future videos. See you in the next one. Bye.